We are born as a multitude of personalities. One of them becomes hegemonic and we call it identity. Discovering our identity means discovering the area that controls our inhibitory breaks. The ability to lose and recover my identity lies with my freedom, which is the game of masks that makes men adaptable to life. As Nietzsche said, please give me a mask and another one. The process of dreaming is really important in my artistic research. It's uh, similar uh, to the creative process. So, in a way, uh, when you dream, you cannot decide what you dream. You have all these images together no, that you have in your mind and most of the time you cannot control them. So it's, it's something that comes from your subconscious and you cannot decide what you want to dream. And sometimes uh, the creative process um, works in the same way. So it's always a work in progress, no? Uh, you start with an idea but, and you have many images that you use as references. Some images from the outside world, other images from your inside world, from your imagination. And it's a combination of all these elements. While you are working, these images just come from your subconscious. With my paintings I try to tell stories, but I don't want them to be uh, too realistic. And I like to put together um, different elements in contraposition together. And I would like the viewer to create uh, his own stories. So usually I start with an idea and I, I search for different images. I, sometimes I, always, I also uh, take some photographs and I mix all these elements together. And so it's a, a mix of personal experiences and things that I read or um, movies that I watch. There is this artist that I really like and her name is uh, Paula Rego. And during one interview she said that pictures is what uh, allows you to uh, express on the canvas some feelings or something that you wouldn't do in your, in your normal life. So, in a way, you are allowed to, uh, to paint things that maybe can be dirty or strange things, you know, some feelings that you have, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell about them to, to the people, no? So that's why, uh, that's why you paint. In this self-portrait, I depict myself as Isis. I've used my own body as a tool which can have many meanings. On a side, I connect myself with Isis. My body, my body is strong, in full force, and ready to fly and fight for my love, Osiris. On the other side, I'm still a human being. I will probably get sick and old on, until I die. The hands covered by gloves remind me my human condition. In the background appears some couple having sex, a tribute to the mother goddess and generator of life. You can also see the Oxyrhynchus fish who ate the penis of Osiris. The painting is questioning the female role in our society, the female strength and the power of her body, but also her condition as a human being.